My name is Liam Humphreys, I'm a research fellow at the Advanced Wellbeing Research Centre and I uh, research the role of exercise in the management of chronic conditions um, and I work mostly with people affected by cancer. Exercise is so important for, for everybody in terms of just helping people maintain a sort of healthy body weight but also in terms of keeping their fitness levels up and their, their, their strength up as well and also it can lower the risk of quite a lot of um, health conditions so like heart disease, diabetes, um, stroke and also um, some cancer as well. We're confident now to say that exercise is safe and beneficial for, for people living with or beyond cancer. So if for example they um, have been diagnosed it is, it is important to try and maintain muscle mass because people can lose their muscle mass as they um, go through the different treatments because the treatments can be quite detrimental to, to some of those um, to things like muscle mass and to fitness and other areas and we now know that for example if they did three sessions of aerobic exercise sort of moderate intensity per week then that'll have much a lot of benefits for their for their sort of like long-term um, health and also it's really important to mention that strength training as well is a big part as well so two days a week of, of strength training um, as well has been shown to help be beneficial for people affected by cancer. The main one I'd say was don't do too much too soon. I think people can, when they want to be more active, they'll just sort of jump straight in and try and do a lot. So even if you did sort of 10 minutes, um, the, that, that's a good start. Wear sensible footwear. It's the old sort of like traditional sort of thing to say to people when they're starting those sort of exercise. And also, Try and find someone to walk with as well, just so you can get out. And just, um, again, it's the big thing for me is uh, socialising.